Hello guys, and welcome to race number 7 of the NSRA T-Mobile Cup Series. We're here for our first road course stop of the season, here at Mosport. We are all the way in Canada too, and this is also our first international stop as well. And, um, this is the only road course we will be doing, and that be Speedways and Super Speedways. So anyway, uh, actually, may go to Dubai, not sure, but anyway, cold, or... Er, Austin the Plan is your pole sitter, followed by Cole Daly, and then third is Tony Blazer, fourth Nick Smith, fifth is Joshua Collard, sixth Dylan Poteet, seventh is Jake Baskinger, eighth Alan Cavagnaro, ninth Chase Carpenter, completing the top ten is Justin Talapass, and here's the rest of your starting lineup here at Mosport. And on the final row, we have LJ Mills and Kyle Thomas. As you saw, starting in the fifth spot is the previous race winner, Joshua Collard. Joshua Collard, I will say, he had probably one of the most luckiest moves throughout that race. Because I can guarantee you Nick Smith had it in the bag. I did not expect Collard to take it. And that guy who got robbed, Nick Smith, as you can see, is starting a position ahead of Joshua Collard, but the preferred lane is going to be the right-hand side of the track because it is an all-right-hander track. So we're going to get out of this real quickly and show you in the info what the track looks like. There you see where Pit Road is, where they are at right now on the track. Um, they are around this area right here, I believe. Oh, my, my mistake. They're over here. My, my apologies there. Start finish lane is about right here. As they just gave the command, they're going to be coming around it here, turn one, turn two, and that. And then these trouble spots are going to be around in this area right here, because these sharp right-handers are going to be a bitch. And as all the cars have rolled off. Awesome the plant trying to get a good run for today, as everyone is all moving, which is good. And it's gonna, we're going to be here for 16 laps and no cautions. Yes, you heard me right, folks. No cautions. We don't need them at this track. And you get the gist. So, crazy this pandemonium. If you saw the Outback and Universal Land Cup race, for those of you who did, congratulations. You probably know what to expect for those that don't. Oh, fun. Green flag is out. Cold Alley trying to get the advantage coming off the corner. But cannot get the job done. Austin the is going to get the lead. Nick Smith trying to beat underneath for second already. That did not take long for Nick Smith. I can guarantee he wants retribution very badly. He's not going to get the spot from Cold Alley. As he went off the track, he's going to lose third place now to Tony Blazer. Blazer trying to get himself back in the community by making sure if he can get a win. This would be huge, too, in a road course. That would be probably the big win for Blazer there. Plants still leading. Check out the back. Cause, well, we have to. Because you never know what to expect coming in here. Oh, I guarantee you someone's going to, like, fuck up over here. Holy shit, three wide. Young and Pericles. Contact. That's McCurry. Holy shit. We're going to wreck. We are going to wreck. Oh, there goes Pericles. And Seth Cole and Lombard are around. Oh, please tell me we're going to keep it together. Please tell me we're going to keep it together. Baskinger, I believe that is. Oh, Qualls is slow. Oh, that's Plored. My mistake. They have very similar paint schemes. Oh, boy. Oh, Akari and Jake Rogers make contact. They're going to keep it together, though. And lap one is complete. Hopefully, we don't have anyone drive off the track, too. And so far, we've had spins, but no major wrecked cars. Qual's going to be the big loser out of that. Scene. Oh, Eric Bird with an issue. And oh, the 40 of uh, Bishop. I think he hit that wall. And Burton, he's got heavy left side damage. And I think his day is over. He's just in coast mode right now. Oh, someone hit the grass. And we're so far so good. This track, if you've seen it, uh, the, the people I know who've used it is like Arksaw. Um, uh, Nero's been using it. Uh, there's another one, though. I don't remember off the top of my head. 
We will be constantly looking at the field to make sure we don't miss any of the action. If we do, we'll have to take a replay of the wreck when uh, we have a chance. If we get like a cooldown or something. But so far, the top two really been with each other. Or, or thir second to third been really with each other. goes oh Pichu and LJ Mills Pichu tried to hit the break and couldn't do it hard hit for LJ Mills man he really hit that wall hard car still slow that's Eric Burton I think he it's safe to say that no uh Burton won't have to be dealing with anyone there because he's getting closer to pit road you can tell right there even going 100 miles an hour I think he's gonna be out of the race safe to say well plan enjoy what he's seeing though running away from Cold Alley and Nick Smith, and where's Blazer? Oh, there he is. I think he hit the grass. Whoa, and Smith took it wide. Gotta be careful coming off those turns. And Oh, Thoreau's got damage. And Eric Burton is finally gonna make it to pit road for the 10. That's a tough break for the Everham car. Both Everham cars, and oh, there's a wreck on the front stretch. I think that may have been Dylan Thoreau. Oh, Michael Norman with damage. I think P.J. Williams and Jake Rogers have damaged his quals off the track. Jackson's got damage. Hmm, something strange is going on. Give you a replay of some of the wrecks if, when we get a big cooldown. Oh, who's that on pit road? Oh, it's burned. Okay, I thought that was another car. Battle for possession. I see Collar that was up there. He got around Nick Smith. Nick Smith, something's not right in that 55. That car must be loose because... He's losing the spots now. He was uh, second. Now he's uh, fourth. Now Blazers all over him. But Cold Alley. He's going to be the best person to catch up to the plant. Tough break for Michael Mor Norman there. That is not what he needed. There's Lombard. Uh-oh. I think he got more damage. Pericles. Eric Burns can get back on track. There's the only ever Everham car left. Jake Rogers Everham not having a great day whatsoever. And I see wrecking. That's uh, I see wreckage right there. Yeah, that's, that's something we'll look into. They've really separated. Dally's uh was second was one point oh three seconds behind Laplant uh last lap. Who's been the fastest car so far? That would be Nick Smith with the one sixteen five seventy five, but that's not that didn't last because of that uh mistake that he had. But I think he's pulling more ground on uh Cole Dally right there. Let's see what it is at the stripe. Oh, actually, Dally's gaining a tiny bit of ground on the plant. Lombard all over Nick Pericles in the 15. I don't know what's going on with Pericles. Lombard's got no hood, and he's all over the bumper of the 15. So far, it's been a... Uh... Oh, there goes McCurry! The real course bringer into the tire barrier. I think that was uh, Mark Holbert that may have gotten into him. I didn't see it too well, but I saw the one car slide and hit the barrier, and he is out of the race. But Dally, oh, he got a lot of ground gain on that 38. I think the 38 went off the track. Oh, Lombard all over Pericles, and there goes Pericles. Lombard had enough of him, and he takes him out. Wow, that was some uh, heated shit right there. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on right here real quickly, just in case, because this does not look good. And, oh, Shelton nearly got turned by Talon Pass. And they're all single foul and gapped out there. But there's your leader, LaPlan, as we're on lap 616. We're going to take a look at some of the instants uh, in this race, so don't go away. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back, and this is what happened. We're going to start the first incident. As you can see, this is just a clusterfuck right here. And just everyone was clustered around. Look at 4 Y up ahead where poor Dalton Pericles and uh, the 42 is. There you see Pericles going around. And then, uh, oh, oh, we missed it. Um, who was that? It's going to hook him. Is that Chris Washer? Yeah, this will work right here. Yeah, Washer's going to hook Lombard right there into his teammate Seth Cole. 
Norman was behind him at the time, and Qualls got held up from that uh, incident right there. That was what happened with that there. Very simple. And then Seth just very lightly backs it into the wall. Now, we're going to take a look at what happened to Bishop. Well, he we found out what happened here. R.J. Bishop was coming into the turn right before uh, the final turn there. Eric Burton is going to hook him as they were going to go three wide. And then uh, watch this here. Oh, that's where the wall just doesn't connect and nails Eric Burton. Good thing for Burton, though. He's back out on track, but he is one lap down. That is a hard hit for R.J. Bishop. Oh, my word. Uh, let's see some of the other incidents. Well, we just learned Anthony McCurry was involved in not one wreck, but two wrecks. So Jake Rogers hooks Anthony McCurry, and obviously there's a glitch where the car can go through the wall, but McCurry got lucky. He didn't get that. But, wow, that is, I think that's also, that's why Jake Rogers was in the back. That's why I've been McCurry on that incident. Let's see if we can find any others. Incident before, so you can see Pichu London just hooked LJ Mills, and you saw what happened. But, man, watch this hard hit. Mills takes. That was right where the beginning of the tire barriers. Man, Pichu, he slowed down, and he just got it, but sadly, he's out of the race. But, uh, yeah. Tempers can definitely flare a road course here. PJ Williams just gets hooked by Young, coming off the turn. And keep an eye on Jake Rogers. You're going to see him in just a little bit right there. Um, you'll see what happens to him because something does happen. He tries to hook Young, you just see right there. Gets into Dollarton, and then those three get involved. We'll look up ahead in just a little bit what happens exactly, but someone, I think, hit Williams. Oh, Norman, he was the one. I, I figured why um, Norman was in the back, and, uh, oh, man, that's a tough break for Michael Norman. Um... Let me look up ahead, and now let's look at Jake Rogers. Oh, this is what happened to Thoreau. He nailed Jake Rogers. Okay, that explains what happened to Thoreau. Now, let's let's watch this here. Okay, now remember young Jake Rogers and Chris Dollarton. Let's see if we get a good angle off this here. I think we'll get a good view off the spectator mode. Yeah, young gets cooked by Rogers into Dollarton. Dollarton is a victim, just waiting for that wreck to avoid there. And remember, he's last in points, so he needs to get every point as possible. He did a great job to avoid that. And you would kind of think for um, for Jake Rogers that uh, you know everyone would not go for the grass to avoid it. They could literally use the pavement. Dylan throw. I don't know what he was thinking. Rams into Jake Rogers. That I don't know. I think Jake Rogers must be saying, "What the fuck?" But yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, crap, I clicked the wrong button, but that's what happened there. Now, let's see on this replay if, uh... Okay, never mind. So, that's up in there. Let's look at the next one. All right, let's look at Anthony McCurry's incident, because we didn't see really well what happened. Wait a minute, did Kyle Thomas? Oh, he got him in the right rear corner panel. You always hear a lot in NASCAR about the left rear corner panel. Thomas got him in the right rear and just says, screw you, I'm taking you out. And, wow, that was just a dick move by Kyle Thomas there. Wow, so uh, let's check and see if we have any more incidents. And if not, we'll go back to green. So if you see us go back to green, that was all the incidents. And hey, welcome back. You haven't missed much on that. After all the incidents taking place, R.J. Bishop, Pichu London, L.J. Mills, Dylan Thoreau, and Cole Daly are all out of the race. Eric Burton is one lap down. As you can see, Cole Daly, he is approaching, um, as I kept press pressing the wrong button, I apologize for that. Uh, Cole Daly was approaching Austin LaPlante very closely, and then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, but LaPlante got a huge uh, head of steam there. But Cole Daly, he's getting closer and closer to uh, LaPlante, so if I were LaPlante, I better be careful. Now, I think we may encounter pit stops. I am not sure, but who knows? But man, LaPlante, either Dally must have fucked up on a turn, or or LaPlante did something right.
as give me one second folks as I accidentally had this key thing but yeah Dally is losing ground he was about 0.7 behind now he's point now he's 1.2 one behind so far we have been calming and oh I changed I spoke too soon that's talent pass and Mongol they're outside the track and Mongol he's impaled oh my god well I spoke too soon about the craziness ending it did not end. Wow, what an interesting day. How about Balkan? He's in a limp right now. He's having a great day right now. The craziness has not ended. But Dally, he is actually gaining a better ground on uh, LaPlante. And someone knows about LaPlante. Last lap, he ran a 117.099. Dally ran a 117.614. Wow. LaPlante had a great lap. That's a lap right there. Holy cow. That was not his best lap, though. He's still pretty good, though. As we are at the halfway point of the race, you saw all the incidents taking place. There is Talapass on Pit Road. And I believe Mongol just called it quits. I... Yeah, yeah, it's called it quits. Okay. Is that Kavignar right there? Okay, no, it's Eric Burton. But the field has diminished. Single file racing, bigger gap. Oh, Talent Pass they're dealing with right now. And Dunham is now trying to get around the target dodge for Arnhart Ganassi. Now, Dunham runs Sega Motorsports for the Universal Atlantic Cup Series, so he should be able to have no problems, right? See if that's the case, but Talent Pass is not cutting him slack. He's actually trying to pass the 26. Dunham runs a little bit off the course, and Talent Pass still battling. He's gonna pass him. No slack whatsoever. And look at Blazer all over Nick Smith in the 55. I know Nick Smith wants retribution and getting that win, but man, Tony Blazer getting a strong car, and Kyle trying to make it two in a row. He's Catching up the cold Dally. More than Dally to uh, LaPlante. Gotta remember. A road course ace for Collard. He's a good at that. Collard's cut his time, but not Dally. Well, actually, Dally has, but very little, though. Oh, we got a wreck. I don't know what happened. I think it's what I see. Oh, we got a car, of course. Oh, it's uh, Ian Dutta and uh, Sheldon and Owen Wood hit the wall. Mason Wood hit the wall. Sheldon was 12th, and I think she's in 20th now. Actually, 21st, I should say. I don't know what happened. And did I just see James Qualls? He's in 26. Seth is 25th. Unbelievable. And oh, Washer, he's got some uh, damage. He's. Oh boy. Something's wrong with that 20. He's holding up that 99. We're going to stay with him because I don't think people are happy right now with Chris Washer if you're Kyle Thomas. But. Oh boy. Thomas nearly got himself turned by the seven. Holy crap. You know, Hothi trying to get around um, Blazer. Wow, I did not see Hothi. Where did he come from? And Collard has lost ground on Dally. But Dally has, like, kept that time the same off of, uh, LaPlante. Oh, here comes Smith on the collar. How about Chase Carpenter? This is a good run for him, that rookie. Seventh place right now. 
But man, what an interesting road course race this has been. And the big pack so far is from uh, where Chris Washer is in 19th on down to the 20, 22nd position, something like that. Holbert now trying to go to the inside of the 20. This is where you can make good passes around this area. And Dally's cut that time off of LaPlante. And Holbert, is he going to complete the pass on Washer? Washer trying to get the run. Holbert got it at the stripe. But is he going to complete the pass? He shut off this turn. Yes, he will. Obviously, as you can tell, road courses. Oh, as Thomas nearly turned Washer. They are hard to pass. And, you know, get your struggles. But, oh, Town Pass has got a uh, little bit of hood damage there. I think that may have been new or something. But, huh. Have a go all over passengers bumper. And I think Cavagnaro is going to pass the uh, 83 machine as he's still with them. Baskinger still trying to get the run and he's going to hold on to it for now. Oh, I don't think Cavagnaro liked that what Baskinger did and nearly turned him. And the plant's got the lead. He's going to, he made sure he uh, opened up ground a little more on Dally. But, uh, yeah. We got about five laps there. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll take you back with uh, another lap. And, uh, yeah. Folks, we are back as lap cars are taking pit stops. Lombard just coming back out. And that's really not going to help Cole Dally at all. They are also approaching... Oh, P.J. Williams with damage! I didn't see what happened to him. They're also approaching Eric Burton. Uh, how close are they on Williams? Oh, they're right there! Williams did the best thing. He moved out of the way. Now he's going to really use that very low inside line. But man, I have no idea what happened to Williams, but his day is over. And they are approaching Lombard is Dally. What about Burton? I, and actually, Lombard's not being much of an issue. I think that's a, a regularly scheduled pit stop, I, I think. I'm not too sure. But he is a lap down. This is going to help Austin the plant big. Eric Burton's going to come off turn 10. He's going to cross the start finish line. And, Hmm. Actually, let me wait on the plant. Let me see on that front stretch. I think we may have had another wreck on the front stretch. But I'm not sure. Uh-oh, Ian Dutta, Seth Cole! And there goes Seth Cole and Ian Dutta teammates! Out of the race! Williams finally going to move out of the way, or er, is finally going to come on over to pit road, I don't know what happened exactly, but Ian Dutta, Seth Cole, their days are over, what happened to PJ, um, let's see, Burn just came off those two sharp corners, Dally has approached Lombard, but if Dally wants to get around Lombard, he's got to do it on these turns, and oh, that is not going to help, they did that turn badly, And you can tell LaPlante, he is closing in on Eric Burton. The main question, though, is when they approach Eric Burton, when will it be? Because when we come to the stripe, it will be two laps to go here at Mosport. And the other question is, will we encounter green flag pit stops? Plant not coming in, neither is Dally. Dally trying to peek underneath the 24, can't make a move yet, two laps to go. All the plant's got to do is make sure if he approaches Eric Burton, take it easy. I think once uh, we come to the checkers and let everyone finish, we're going to take a look at those incidents regarding P.J. Williams and uh, Ian Dutta and, and, and uh, Seth Cole. Man, that's unfortunate. Three Hendrick cars 
are now going to be out of the race. The best one probably is going to be Lombard, who's going to finish well. And uh, Ian Dutta and Seth Cole both officially declared themselves out of the race. And, yeah. Dally all over Lombard again. but the, And it's really not helping Dally whatsoever. Because, look, at that's the distance between Burton and the plant. There's Jake Rogers, and they may also catch up to him. Pericles, I don't think they're gonna wor they're, we're going to have to worry about him. Rogers, we may worry about. Burton's going to probably be the big one. I don't think, actually, Rogers, he actually may be all good. It's just Eric Burton, because LaPlante is closing on him fast. And Dally is all over the bumper of Lombard. Hopefully, we don't have four rectangular cars. That would be terrible. Man, the teams who are doing well are Everham and Hendrick as the white flag has been displayed. One lap to go, and Dally tried to peek underneath Lombard, but couldn't do it. Burton knows LaPlante is coming. Is LaPlante going to be all over the tens bumper? And the 43 fell back hard as well to the 55. And LaPlante, he is caught up to the 10. He's trying to make a move. And Burns going to hold him up. That's what Daly wanted to see. Oh, but Daly took that turn badly. LaPlante still on Burns' bumper. Now he's going to make a move on the high line. LaPlante now easily makes run on Burton. I think it's safe to say that's LaPlante's race. Because Dally has lost ground. Oh, and I think he's... Oh, this is not good for Dally. I don't think, I don't know what happened. I think him and Lombard made more contact. Oh, Collar nearly got loose. He's going to get the second spot. But off the final corner. Or actually now coming off the final, cor final corner. Austin LaPlante is going to be a happy man today. He's, he's going to win at most sport. And Collar is barely going to get second over Dally. Warp, Nick Smith, 5th, Tony Blazer, 6th, Poteet, 7th, Carpenter, 8th, Baskinger, 9th, Cavagnaro, 10th, Balkan. Then it's Akari, Finn Guy, Hagen, James, Dunham, Becker. Who's going to get it between these two? Oh, I think it was Dollarton. Dollarton or Sheldon. And they gave it to... to give it to. Oh, they give it to Shelton. Then Washer, Holbert, Lord, Qualls, Thomas, Wood, Jackson, Young. Burton back in the pits. And then there's Pericles and then Rogers. But, yep. There it is. As Dally still can't get around. But Collar did manage to get around Lombard now. But now, let's look at those final incidents of the race. I didn't see this coming. Lombard hooked uh, Williams. And I think that's how Lombard was on pit road. Because like, he just glitched right through and Williams didn't get in there. And then Williams, yeah, you can see he's just he's just going to be slow. Wow, I, I, I did not know that. Okay, so that explained what happened to Williams. The good thing for Williams, though, is that no one rammed him. So that's what happened to him. Now let's go to that incident right there with Seth Cole and Ian Dutta. Let's play some full motion just to save some time. Dutta just goes all over Seth Cole's bumper, Hendrick teammates, and there they go. So those were all the incidents of this race. Let's take you to the finishing results. And here it is right there. Austin, the play is your winner. Followed by Collar, then Dally, then Smith, and Posey, like we mentioned, all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. And then, yep, you get the deal. Drivers out of the race after, the, after all what's happened and lap down. Telepass was one, Lombard was two, Burton was two, and then Seth Cole, Ian Dutta, BJ Williams, Cody Lamas, Austin Mongol, Dan McCurry, Michael Norman, Dylan Thoreau, LJ Mills, PG Lynn, and RJ Bishop, all out of the race, so. Man, what a crazy race this was. If you like this race, be sure to give it a like. Comment underneath on your thoughts. I'm just to be a part of the result. We'll see you guys later on for. Race number eight of the season uh, in the NFC Ray at Talladega and the, and the IRA one. I don't know yet. But anyway, see you guys later. Peace. And you see the results. See you guys later.